Today we're going to upgrade the standard pop-up drain with this cool clicker pop-up drain from Home Depot. The cool thing about this is it's easy to clean. There's less moving parts, so there's a lot more space to get hair down it and water down it. This is the collar part that goes on top of the sink. Right about there. And the rest of this stuff goes in from the bottom of the sink and it all screws together. First, we're going to take the old one out. This thing right here was leaking. The homeowner actually had to loosen this and pull the lift rod out and pull that stopper out to get a whole bunch of his wife's hair out of the drain and grease and nasty stuff. It's already full again. Problem is, he lost one of the washers and wasn't able to get it to seal properly, so it was just leaking all over the place. And now he not only wants it fixed, he wants it to be easier to clean and wants it to drain better. So you want to grab this old collar here. You loosen up the nut on the bottom so you get a little bit of space. Throw some vice grips on it. Then you can unscrew it. Be careful not to scratch porcelain. That's why we put a rag down. It's very easy to scratch porcelain. This little piece could be brass, could be plastic. If it's brass, save it, recycle. If it's plastic, just throw it in the trash. Now you can get a little leverage on here. We're going to separate the tail piece from the main body. You don't always have to do this, but in this case, the PVC from the P-trap was so close to the sink, we kind of had to do that. Now, be careful not to let the tail piece drop down inside the PVC. It's really hard to get them out if they drop down past the compression collar. This one's hanging on pretty good. We got it out. This compression collar for the PVC, it's in good shape, so we're going to reuse it. Don't forget to get everything really clean. You don't want any dirt or debris messing with the seal for the new stopper. So right here, we're taking this nut off. So you got a washer and a nut that's going to go below the sink. And up here, this tail piece is going to connect to that collar. We're just going to test fit it real quick. That's that washer and the rubber seal that goes underneath. So we're going to test fit this, just make sure that uh, the length is right for the P-trap and we don't have to trim it. Everything looks good, so we're going to take it apart again. This is some plumber's putty. You're just going to knead this up, get it nice and warm and pliable. Then we're going to roll it into a uniform shape so we can get it around the collar. This is going to create the watertight seal on top of the sink basin. And underneath that rubber washer and uh, the rubber seal and that metal washer are going to make the seal on the bottom of the sink. You're going to screw this collar into that tailpiece. It can just be hand tight. And as you tighten the nut and the seal from the bottom, it's going to squeeze out the excess plumber's putty. You're just going to take that off. Clean it up a little bit. Now install the, the stopper. And just click it once to fill the sink. Now test it out, make sure that the overflow is working. And then you can click again to release the water. I don't know what I like better, the sound of a clean drain or that cool little whirlpool as it goes down by the stopper. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe for more content like this.